Good afternoon to everyone. I trust that everyone is doing well. On my side, I'm super, super excited. Uh, right now, I'm busy sending out the emails for all the people who are interested in becoming shareholders in the black owned insurance company. Now, guys, today I just want to speak a few facts about the insurance industry. Right now, the insurance industry in Namibia is worth at least over 300 billion. In South Africa, it's worth about 42 billion US dollars. So you guys can do the maths and roughly understand how much 42 billion US dollars is worth. But 300 billion Namibian dollars is also not small money. And the reason why we as black people need to own our own insurance company is because the financial sector controls basically everything. Money is power. And for as long as we black people don't have power, that means we have no money. The reason why blacks don't have real power is because we don't have money. Now, we need to establish Black-owned insurance companies, black-owned insurance bank or banks, black pension funds, everything needs to be black. Because if you look at how the financial system works, if you want to buy a car today and you don't have the money cash, what's going to happen is you'll be told that the bank can finance your car. Then what the, the, the bank does is the bank will finance your car but then there are conditions. You need to have insurance. Where are you going to get the insurance from? It's going to be from a white insurance company. So the bank that's financing you is also white owned. That will be financing your car. Then the insurance that you're going to need on that car is also what? It's also white owned. Then they'll also tell you you need to take out a life cover in case you die so that the life cover is able to pay out what? Your car or your debts that you have, where are you going to get that life cover from? You're going to get it from another white insurance company. So do you know how the system works? The system basically works, it's money or our money flowing just back into a certain community. And then we don't understand why we continue being poor. Now, how many people die on a daily basis? In this country, not a lot. So what does that mean? That basically means insurance companies are collecting as much money as possible. That's how much money they're collecting. But what do we earn from it as a society? Apart from the benefits paid out to our families and all those other things, not much. However, if we start controlling these things, that means we can start plowing back in our communities. That means instead of us waiting for the government to come and build a school, we'll build a school ourselves because we have the money. Instead of us waiting for government to provide access to water, we'll bring the water by ourselves because we don't need to wait for, for the government. So what does that mean? We need to start or we'll start having our own ecosystem whereby our money is basically working for us. That means we'll be able to start reinvesting in smaller businesses and those smaller businesses will then create employment employment for who employment for our people so we need to start being serious about wealth creation this thing where we're waiting for government to come up with plans of wealth redistribution wealth redistribution is not going to work we need to start working on wealth creation redistribution we're going to wait another 30, 40 years before government starts redistributing wealth. While we can start now and start creating our own wealth. Because truth be told, majority of the clients of these banks, of these insurance companies, of the supermarkets, it's us black people. We're the majority. So what does that say? It says that we are the ones with the buying power. But because we don't understand simple economics, we are the ones who still do not have money. 
So guys, I've started sending out all the emails to the people who want to become shareholders in this company. But at the same time, I need people who have relevant experience in the insurance industry and basically people who are just go-getters so that we can actually take this project off the ground. The idea is that by 2021, this company would have been set up and will be operational by 2021. It's possible, guys. As much as it sounds like a far-fetched dream, this is very much possible. Now, let me give you an interesting fact. Recently, Standard Bank, uh, through its selling of shares, was able to raise approximately 1.4 billion Namibian dollars. And that's within a period of two months. That means in two months, Standard Bank was able to take about 1.4 billion Namibian dollars. And I can guarantee you that that 1.4 billion Namibian dollars, most probably majority of it came from the black community. Now, let me give you guys a few facts about shares in this country. Now, Namibia Breweries Limited has one of the best performing shares in the country. Now, guess how much they pay out dividends per share? They pay out 50 cent per share. That's how much they pay out. 50 cent for every share that you have. Now, guess how much they sell one share for? One share is sold for about $43. So that means if you have two shares which you invested $100, every single year you'll be getting about $1. Listen to me. You invested $100 or $80 or whatever the case is, $80 to $90, but after one year, you'll simply only be receiving $1. That's how much you'll be receiving on off of your shares from Namibia Breweries Limited in this case. Now, I also did the maths and calculations for Standard Bank based on their assets and all those nonsense projections. Chances are you'll be getting 70 to $1 per share that you have bought in this company. That, that's, that's how much you guys are going to start getting from the shares that you were buying left, right, and center. The problem is most of our people do not understand financial, basic financial literacy. And it's not your fault because unfortunately, nobody teaches us these things. But at the same time, it's also our fault because we don't teach ourselves these things. Just this week alone, I saw WhatsApp groups going crazy because of somebody's house. People even went to the extent of doing the research, whose house it is, where this person got the money and all of that. But how come we don't pay the same interest when it comes to our own financial well-beings? So there we also need to take a whole lot of blame. So guys, don't be fooled by this shares you are sold in this so-called companies. Trust me, these companies are basically daylight robbers. But because the system was designed in a way for us not to win, things will continue being the same way. If you want to know how much you're likely to make if you invest in this black insurance company, remember, there's a difference between being an equity shareholder and just being a normal shareholder through an IPO. Trust me. Send us an email. The email is a-m-u-s-h-e-i-n-c at gmail.com. That's Amushe Inc. at gmail.com. If you would also like to be an investor in the first, maybe it's not the first black-owned insurance company, but it will definitely be the biggest black-owned insurance company. Not only here in Namibia, but we're going to take this company globally. We're going to take it literally everywhere else that this company needs to be. This is our time to take back what was stolen from us years ago. This is our time to take back what we are 
giving away every single month. Guys, $300 billion is no joke. These insurance companies make more than Namibian government will ever be able to make in taxes in I don't know how many years. So let's get serious about building wealth for ourselves, building wealth for our kids. If we die today, apart from our life covers and all of those things that are going to be paid out to our children, what lifelong investments do you have that will continue paying your family even if you're no longer there? Chances are many of us have none. This is a golden opportunity for some of you to actually build something meaningful, not only for yourself, but also for your family. Guys, this is all I had to say. I need to get back to drafting my emails. I've given you guys the email address. I'm going to repeat it again. A-M-U-S-H-E-I-N-C at gmail.com. That's Amushe Inc. at gmail.com. Basically, simply send us an SMS and saying you would like to be a shareholder in the black-owned insurance company. Guys, after we set up the black-owned insurance company, the next thing we're setting up is a bank. A black bank. That's the next thing that we're setting up. Guys, it's going to be black everything. Black-owned everything. That's how it's going to be. We can't be 90% of the population and not own anything. That, that, unless we, we have somehow accepted that we either can't think or we're either not good enough to do things ourselves. And when you people argue to say that, but how is a black company going to, to function? Guys, look around you. All these companies that exist in this country, they are only owned by white people but it is the blacks who are managing these companies and they know how to manage these companies very well. Look at all the CEOs in this country of the big companies. Majority of them are black. Majority of the workers are black. So when you guys are saying that we won't be able to run an insurance black company, what, what, what are you saying? What are you actually trying to say? So guys, this is, this is our chance. This is our golden opportunity. For those of you who have worked for years, some of you have worked for 20 years, but you've got nothing to show in those 20 years that you have worked. This is a golden opportunity for you to have something to show when you're finally not here one day. But guess what? You're at least going to live long enough in this lifetime to enjoy the fruits of the seeds that you have planted. That I can guarantee you. That I can guarantee you. So guys, let's not waste time. Start dropping those emails if you're interested because I need to get back to work because we need to start building black generational wealth. That's what we need to start doing. And we need to start doing it aggressively and seriously. No one is gonna come do it for us Unfortunately, no one is coming to save us, so we need to save ourselves, black people. Thank you, guys.